Good morning, brothers and sisters and friends. Welcome to another day at the foot of the cross. Today we're going to talk about persecution. When Jesus gave the first sermon on the mount, he talked about eight beatitudes. And the last one was about persecution. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 verse 10 to verse 12, he said, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Jesus, right from the beginning, made it very clear to all who are seeking the kingdom of heaven, that we will be persecuted. This beatitude deals with those who are persecuted, not for their own wrongdoings, but for righteousness sake. Some people suffer for doing evil, but that is punishment, not persecution. So when we look at our life's troubles they are facing now, would you call it persecution? or punishment. Jesus is talking about people who will face persecution for being righteous. Three times Jesus used the word persecuted in Matthew, which means harassed, hunted, opposed or ill-treated. This term is used of wild bees pursued by hunters. So you can get the picture when Jesus what Jesus meant by the word persecution. Jesus saying in verse 11 that people will insult you, persecute you, falsely say all kinds of evil against you. All these people will do because you chose Jesus. Jesus communicated the same things in Luke. In Luke 6, 22 and 23, Jesus said, Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy because great is your reward in heaven. For that is how the ancestors treated the prophets. Jesus saying, Hear that people will hate you, exclude you, insult you and reject your name as evil. All this you and I will face because we have chosen to follow the Son of Man. Have you experienced any of this as a Christian? Let me tell you, the world will not thank you or me for being a Christian. But Jesus will reward you for you facing all this and not giving up. Jesus promises great rewards in the kingdom of heaven. How are we to respond when we face persecution for Jesus' sake? Jesus said we are to rejoice and be glad in Matthew chapter 5 and rejoice in that day and leap for joy. How many of us have responded like this? I know I have had my own share of struggles and opposition and persecutions, but I, this is not my attitude. I was not rejoicing and being glad, nor was I leaping for joy when I faced some struggles in my life as a Christian. And I'm ashamed of it because this is what Jesus expects me to have that kind of response. So whenever there is a public expression of faith, you and I will face opposition. Some of us have gone through some kind of opposition to follow Jesus. I remember a deaf and mute brother who had come and become a disciple in one of the cities in India. He was a very joyful and zealous brother. He always shared his faith. He was excited to know Jesus and share about him to everyone. He could not speak, but he would share with so much joy using sign language. One day, he did not return home. Next day, they found his body in a canal. The whole church was shocked and saddened by this event. 
they lost a friend and a brother who had become so close to everyone few years later a young man came to study the bible and during his confession he admitted to having killed a deaf and mute man when he was evangelizing he remembered him and narrated the whole incident it was very sad to know a brother was murdered for sharing his faith in jesus i know as we read this we think that what a huge cost this brother paid for his faith in christ but i want us to remember but that is what jesus did for saving us from sin he paid a huge price he paid it with his life when i think about this brother yes he did pay a huge price for his faith for that jesus promises that great is his reward in heaven amen persecution for righteousness sake began in the first family adam and eve had their first two boys cain and abel when cain was born his parents hoped that he would be the hope of the world but cain persecuted his own brother and then he murdered him why did cain kill him he killed him because first john chapter 3 verse 12 says his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous abel was persecuted and killed for righteousness sake the prophets in the bible went through horrendous intense persecutions this is a small list of those who have been persecuted for righteousness sake moses was ridiculed by an entire nation and even by his own family at times elijah was hunted down by wicked queen jezebel elisha was hunted down by an entire army jeremiah was imprisoned at the bottom of a muddy cistern Daniel was a victim of a jealous conspiracy and was thrown to the lions. John the Baptist we know was beheaded for confronting the sin of King Herod. Stephen was stoned, Peter and John were cast into prison, James was beheaded and all of the apostles we know were murdered except John. Jesus Christ our Lord himself went through an excruciating death paying the price for our unrighteousness. brothers and sisters and friends i have few questions for us to reflect upon as we end this devotional this morning have you faced any persecution because of your faith in jesus when was the last time people mistreated you or insulted you because of your faith what excites you more prosperity or the purposes of Christ what can you change to become more bold and courageous to proclaim Christ and finally do you look for rewards in heaven my brothers and sisters and friends let's take some time to reflect on our own lives and and what is it going to take for us to truly be a disciple of Jesus god bless you amen